My name is Emily J. Cox, and I'm the head librarian at the Missouri Historical Society Library and Research Center. I'd like you to meet my dog, who was named from a St. Louis history book. Last year, my husband and I rescued this dog, and he needed a name. We didn't have any ideas at first, but I knew I wanted a two-syllable name, and then I thought, I wonder if there's any name in St. Louis history that would work for this dog. So I went to my shelf of St. Louis history books, and I found Lion of the Valley by James Neal Prim. Why would I just happen to go to the book Lion of the Valley to answer this question? Well, as a nerdy historian at home, I happened to be working on a research project, and this book was just sitting next to my chair when I started thinking about the question, so it was the first thing I went to. Pierre Laclede and Auguste Chateau are well-known names in St. Louis history, but he didn't really look like a Pierre or an Auguste to us. I kept going until I got to Rufus Easton, St. Louis's first postmaster. I said to my husband, huh, Rufus, what do you think? He said, it could be. He could be a Rufus. Then I went and looked for a picture of Rufus Easton, the postmaster. And the Missouri Historical Society's art collection has a portrait miniature of Rufus Easton. So there's the man. Here's the dog. I'm glad you got to meet my dog, Rufus, who was named from a St. Louis history book.